Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. Keeping with the Venom Valentines for this month, I thought we'd take a look at Toy Biz's Venom, the Madness action figure. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. With the juggernaut in an attempt to save his girlfriend, Venom was tossed into a vat of chemicals. Containing a virus, the chemicals bond with the symbiote, driving it insane and forming a third personality. The resulting madness causes the symbiote to sprout multiple heads and arms and then embark on a mad killing spree. After this, Venom was physically transported to the realm of insanity and forced to fight its avatars, Paranoia, Dusk, and the Necromancer. With the symbiote overcoming the virus and Brock regaining his senses, Venom was finally allowed to return to Earth. Alright, so here we have a look at Marvel and Toy Biz's Venom the Madness action figure. Now I'm going to start off by saying that this is actually my favorite version of Venom to come out of the Toy Biz line. He's part of the Separation Anxiety series, which was based off of what was going on in the comic books and the popular video game that happened to be out at the time. However, he's actually from a different comic book altogether, so I don't know why they actually stuck him with the separation anxiety, but eh, who cares. But I mean, just look at this guy. He's ripped, he's massive, he's kind of almost, almost as big as the Hulk, if you think about it. Now, along with this particular line in some of the Hulk figures in the later uh, symbiote wave that would come out after this, for some reason, uh, Toy Biz decided to scale up the actual action figures, and you can see, comparatively speaking, how much bigger he is compared to Spider-Man. Normally I don't like that. I like all my characters to kind of be uh, uniform or at least be able to fit in the uh, same universe. Uh, so if they actually had a Spider-Man that was this big compared to some of the Spider-Man toys that were out beforehand, that would have bugged me. But because this is Venom and you want a Venom that's actually going to loom over Spider-Man and look like a sizable threat, it works for him. And it's okay in my book. It's also, uh, they did the same thing with some of the Hulk figures uh, from the line that was out at the same time. And because it's the Hulk, it's kind of the same thing. So I, I can give it a pass on that. They eventually came out with a Spider-Man for this line, which was grossly oversized. I never got it. It was, it was a little disappointed with that one. Just because, yeah, still, like I said, the size thing. Now, I will apologize. I am missing some actual parts to this guy. Uh, he originally came with some extra little arms that were glued on to his shoulder and his forearm right here. Uh, one was like a point, a little fist. One was a one was a fist. One was a little hand pointing. The other two were just hands that were just kind of reaching out to grab stuff. Just from playing with this guy so much, uh, the glue just started to separate and they've kind of fallen out and... They're somewhere uh, with in my box of all my toys and stuff, but I just could not find them. I'll try to put a picture up to show you what it exactly um, it looked like complete. And the other thing that it's, he's missing are these little red tendrils. One that came out of his uh, fist right here, and another one that actually came out of the front of his arm. Now those, uh, they were actually just loose. They weren't bendable or had some wire in them where you could wrap them around a character. They, were, they just kind of flopped about. If anything, they were a little bit of an annoyance uh, to actually just always... You couldn't really do anything with them, so I didn't really see the point. Eventually, the glue, uh, right where it was uh, connected to the hand, made it a little bit brittle, and they eventually broke off. And this one, I think I just kind of tugged on it enough, and it just popped out. So I thought it looked better without him. Now, he does actually have a little bit of a gimmick. You can press this button on his back, and all the little symbiote heads actually... Well, not all of them, but at least three of them pop out like they're kind of ready to go nuts. I do enjoy the sculpt of the other unformed Venom heads right here. They just look like they're all pissed off, angry, or crazed. And some of his other heads up here that don't move can actually, they have a little bit of articulation right here so we could kind of have them look around. This head up here in particular, um, I always think it reminds me of the Grinch for some reason. I, I don't know, it's just, just something that I thought was kind of neat to point out. Now, the other articulation he has is his main head can actually move side to side. His arms are able to move up and down, and you get a little bit of... Uh, hip articulation right or I should say waist or yeah hip articulation I don't know why I thought waist now he is lacking any elbow joints or knee joints but that's kind of okay because uh, the sheer size of this guy surely makes up for uh, anything else like that he's just kind of imposing on his own I don't think you really need uh, any extra articulation this, this I just love this figure. I like the fact that he has a big fist right here in a hand that he's just ready to grab you. His hand's as big as Spider-Man's chest. 
Now I do also apologize that he is a little bit dusty. Uh, that's because he's one of the figures that I do like to have displayed up on my shelf at all times, just because I like looking at him. He's, like I said, he's my favorite version of Venom. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's not really much else to say. Oh, I will say that they did actually mix around the same time or a little bit after this guy was came out. They uh, had some recolor versions of him. One where he's a slightly grayish purple and another one where he's green and the spider symbol is black. Not really sure why they actually uh, altered those colors. I think they said something about the chemicals that he fell into uh, messed with the symbiote. So they figured, oh yeah, we'll, we'll change his color because chemicals and green are... Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It's this very weird kind of almost pea super pistachio ice cream colored green. It just looks weird. If you're going to try to track down uh, this uh, Venom the Madness action figure, I would say go with the classic black one. He's definitely one that's really cool to ha put on your shelf and have displayed. I mean, just look at him. Anyways, this has been a look at Toy Biz and Marvel's Venom the Madness action figure. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, please help me out by sharing, liking, or even subscribing. Comments and advice are also appreciated. Who knows, some you suggest may appear on the show in the future.